everybody, Looney Farm Guy here with a new mod for Monday, March the 7th. And this is the large car, cow barn, 240 animals by Flusty94. Now, at first I thought it was just this one, but it also includes this one. Um, now, uh, where do we... F <laughs> oh... So 9.14 megabytes. So it appears, by all appearances, uh, they are exact duplicates of the in-game large cow barn that typically holds, I think it was 80 cows, and the robo cow barn that holds 80 cows. Now, they hold, they both now hold 240 cows. And... Uh, they will they you will find them here under cows and it has the big cow icon that's why i said oh there's two of them so it's taken me a hot minute to uh to do this one because well we'll explain in a moment so here are the standard in-game one cow barn large and the cow barn the 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 robo one uh 518 722 so now these new ones uh, by flusty are six hundred thousand dollars each so the uh, standard one which is this one here doesn't have the robo one you have to uh, you have to manually feed them however the water is supplied and then the uh, robot one is here uh, water supplied but you treat it just like the in-game robot one where you put the you can either put the uh, uh, hay, straw, and silage, and mineral feed, and the robot will feed it, or you can directly feed them with uh, TMR, hay, or uh, grass uh, in here. Now, how much does it take? This? So the description says, the uh, along with the increased capacity of, of cows, and we have... 240 in here and 240 in the other one. Now, it says increased animal, animal capacity, as we said, showed. Uh, oh, yes, $200 per day upkeep. Uh, increased the food capacity, increased straw capacity, increased slurry capacity, increased milk capacity. So let's look at those first under their cows. So here's the two, the two uh cow barns the robo one and the regular one they all they both hold 92,000 liters of milk 54,000 liters of straw 320,000 liters of slurry and 75,000 liters of food whether that be hay grass or tmr or a mixture of the three now after much testing um this this barn here does not hold enough food for 400 and or sorry 240 animals so if you have the full capacity 240 animals uh the 75,000 liters of food will run out uh in before a month is over so if you're running one month uh one day months uh they will run out of food before the end of the month so you you fast forward one month you'll come back it'll they will have no food unfortunately i thought the robo one would be able to keep up so if you don't have any i mean even if you fill it with food and you have the robot one you might be able to get about by with it but if you don't have any food the robot cannot keep up with the uh, food that 240 cows eat. Uh, you will run out of food eventually. Um, they, it, you, you will always be empty. The robot will, will put food in there and it'll be like gone right away. So the robot system cannot keep up with the amount. I think, I think what's happening is there was no increase to the robots feeding system they increased the cows they increased the capacities uh yes capacity of this here uh of the robot thing 
is uh, silage is 185,000, straw 90,000, 80, uh, hay 66,107, which is kind of weird. It was 67. I might have lost some. Uh, mineral feed is 85,000 liters. Now, that will not disappear. It's just this robot guy cannot keep up with the f 240 animals eating it even at, uh, as he does it on an hourly basis it's it's doesn't they eat more in an hour than than this little robot guy can take out of here so that's going to need i believe uh, that's well you could either switch to uh, you will have to supplement you'll have to come in here and and put in tmr or something to feed them on top of the cat of, on top of the robot um, so it kind of defeats the purpose of having a robot feeder if you still have to feed it. Although if you fill it up and you go for a month, it, you might be okay. I just like, I've just been spent the last three hours testing this. So, <laughs> so anyways, let's, uh, show you where the, uh, you can fill the milk here. Uh, the trigger works there. Very good. As we've shown the milk capacities. Uh, I think we've shown the milk milk capacities yet yeah, ninety thousand milk slurry is three hundred and twenty thousand so peers the uh, um, capacities have increased somewhat but it doesn't it still takes a while to get those uh, get those up f fully to 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 fill up it took several months to at full capacity cattle uh, this trigger of course works very well we have the slurry tank. And that, uh, of course, works well. As I said, these are all based on the in-game, base game ones. So, um, yeah, just that it just doesn't, even though with increased food, cap increased capacities, um, there is not enough food in there for, to sustain it through one month. And there is some some kind of miscalculation there, of course. Uh, the manure uh, transfers well into the manure pit, as you can see here. We got lots <laughs> from the testament to how many months I've had to fast forward to achieve a lot of these numbers. Um, and I think that pretty much covers it. All the triggers work very well. Um, there, the trigger kind of starts about over here, and it uh, goes to to the end here so if you have a really long trailer tipper trailer you might want to use it on this end one of the ends you can have that the back end kind of just just in there so you can tip it uh, without collisions because there's collisions on these so a high tip trailer is going to be a problem a problem for these barns and yeah um, I think that's about it. That's your large cow, ba bar, cow barn 240 animals by Flusty94, 9.14 megabytes to download. And as long as you are aware of those limitations, uh, you might want to set your monthly cycle to uh, two or three days a month to be able to keep up uh, with uh, the 240 cows. Yep, and that's... Uh, and that's about it. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's just a game. So till next time, bye. -bye.